Just in that I still hold it. I'm playing deep rock cards with a lot of fatigue and weakness because I don't know. I think I might have a sick bug or uh, I've taken CBD or we'll see if that helps with my suicidal thoughts. I don't know what's causing this issue. But this is gonna be interesting. Very rich. <laughs> so I just hold the bitch. This is really a start because demos are good. They can show you what a game is like. I spot. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try this because a skill ups recommendation. I think it's worth a shot. If I don't like it, that's that really. This is good. All these are actually. Well, <coughs> it's not that good, to be honest. I don't really get what I'm supposed to do, there's no tutorial. What was that? What the fuck? Did not hurt Keeper? What the fuck? Okay, we've done all the events. Oh, that's good. Performance bonus, Jesus. We're cheating, Molly. What? Do the store kids tie what? I've never heard that one before. Right now. Right here, cooking right this music, it's all the fitting. So I'm gonna try and play Rocksmith or Dizzy. It's gonna be fun. Well, I think it is, I don't know. Well, it's been a while. I figured I needed a game to play and it's, it's the past time. This one made the most sense. I was played in 2018, I think. And because it's got a good new update, I'm willing to try it. Never know what it'd be like. Yeah. Not holding out my hopes, to be honest. Because this shit is also what bothers me and why I didn't want to play it. But it's really tempting just sucking at it anyway. Oh god. At least it's from here, not a loot box. But you, there are loot boxes in the game, that's the thing. God. Oh, remember, I gave away all my items. Well, traded them, I think, or sold them. That's why I have nothing in there. Oh, this is an abandoned system, isn't it? Jesus. Yeah, I remember I dedicated uh, 20 slots to the loadouts. Because, um, well, pretty much, I was collecting everything. And that's why they're so separated. It wasn't good for my machine, but, yeah. I had this is an official game mode. I forgot our bindings. Whoops. I think one of the things that I disliked about this game, of course, is the way that you can't really see your cosmetics too often. 
in a sense, it's just pointless to me. But you can see your weapons, so it's worth doing it for that. Okay. First win ever. That's interesting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Let's go the seal. <laughs> Classic. Why did it auto select these when I don't want to do them? I just find that strange. Okay, I've got an audio bug. Uh, used to be a thing for that, didn't there? Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> I forgot this had a kill counter. It's actually really cool. I did try to ever just see swords one. Let's see the number of damage I've done to him. Didn't realise. Still got spell nothing. <laughs> okay. It's kinda of funny. I just realised the reference on the Hell's Own Fist. Hey Saxon, 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 I'm the I'm the sniper, I'm the sniper of the bushwagger. Let me show I forgot you about this. Let me show you the magic. Yes. Are you fucked up, you little shits? Oh no. Hey, you are all the fucking hippies. You scream and you feel like you. What? Oh, swords can use Saxon. Hell. This is a cool feature. Oh. So I can't sleep, so I'm playing Midnight TF2. Oh, fun. <laughs> what is that actually doing? It's <laughs> heavy through the grate. It's brilliant. <laughs> what the hell? You could talk, Council. Fucking box spy. <laughs> what? There are bots that don't. That's enough the for fuck? That's so bizarre. <laughs> okay then. Okay then. That's what I should do. If I'm looking at a friendly spy, I need to do this. 
Because if I use a flamethrower, it's obviously not my team. Given them the and then we win. These maps are really good. Wow. You did well. <laughs> the poor. One like the force. Ah, what a drag. Yeah. <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. Dust. Two. Really? He got me in a split second off on the switch. Oh, that's how you save it. Fuck's sake. He's spy! Scout is spy! Scout is spy. Scout is Yavol! Charge me! Yeah! Fuck! Oh god. That's an assist of you. We have to cure the cool point. The short assistant cross. Genius. Phew. Was that just on time? Jesus. It's more way to do a contract. It's Heisenberg. I don't know those really voice lines. Oh, new exploit. Alright. Exploit is a so dumb. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. It's going on here. <laughs> the fuck is going on? Do that. Do your job and get the lead back. Good name for weapon speed ticket. Really, this contract shouldn't be five kills in a single life. Like this shit is what makes it some fun. Make a sunk doable, like ten kills in one game. Jesus, that was lucky. Oh yeah, that's stuff. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's actually kind of cheap considering the effect. Don't think I want any more hearts now. Hmm, strange bug. I should have gotten a thingy for that. There we go. What's this bit? What's this here? What? The community sparkle effect. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, kills. Cool. Oh. <laughs> Brother Chris is very balanced, I guess. Oh, 
finally! Finally, I can play down the man properly. It's an average day in TF2, I guess. So when I last played TF2, I used to be a medic main. This was my exact loadout. The idea is that you can almost never get a Volmu Uber charge. So I never really bothered. I only used it in various situations like a sentry nest. But I figured the quick fix works because when there's only one medic, you need to do the healing. And this always carried the team to victory. And also had a pretty cool loadout. I might not do that again though. I'll probably just get wall painted stuff. I might get a variety as well. And I might get a unique hat. I want the Burly Beast cosmetic, but I don't know how expensive that is. It's a eighty dollars on marketplace, like what? That's absurd. There's no way I'm gonna pay for that. Either way. Medic used to be my main class and yeah, I used to enjoy it. I understood all the tricks. It's well worth it. The spy! Jesus Christ! I don't know what I'm doing. I figured I'd need to do this anyway. Because I haven't played TF2 properly since 2017 apparently, not 2016. Which I find a bit strange to be honest. I don't know why I thought it was 2016. You know, that's technically when I stopped playing it. Very odd. But I have a weird past with it. I think it's a mixed bag for sure, even now. I think it's a decent enough time killer and can be fun enough actually. But it's still. Lacking things that it really needs. The economy is still arbitrary. Trading is still a pain in the ass. It gets errors constantly. I'm talking about trading with bots for the most part because uh, Scrap.tf is still around. Marketplace.tf is, and that's where I got my neutral hat, which was cheap. At least to me, it's cheap for what I'm getting. I just I got fed up with Deep Rock Galactic. Completely the battle pass. Season pass, what you call it. I want something new to play and take my mind off things. If do surprisingly help that. Only problem is is that I'm now having a desire to fill out my loadouts. Which is gonna be a bit frustrating, I think. I think as a general rule, I'll probably limit it. It'd be like, probably more unusual every cars at most. I don't really want to do that, it just depends on the cosmetics I get, I guess. Yeah, it's still a fun game for the most part. Except the bottom problem. Don't get it, but really, it's so fucking confusing. I don't know how you haven't developed an anti cheat system to detect bots. It should be really obvious because their accuracy is pretty insane. But I have this system sort of idea where it's actually something that I was thinking about. Like giving feedback to the Overwatch team about with competitive, where if you're doing a skill based ranking system, you need to have multiple hit boxes to show where players are landing their shots and how accurate they are. 
It's where you can determine in like, let's say three or five tiers where someone lands on average in a certain skill tier. So it ends up being this really accurate measurement of how good someone is at, say, landing shots. But depending on if a projectile hit scan passes them, that will determine it. <coughs> with aimbotting, it should be a similar thing. Because with aimbots, you're obviously aiming at the hitbox. <coughs> but you can tell a genuine human player when they're actively missing and merely a aimbot could bother you miss. Just to offset the e-tune thing, but I don't think many are really smart enough to do that sort of system. But the other thing really is that you need sort of community moderated, I guess, games. Because even though I can go to a server, I don't really want to because of the sort of progression. Because there's that level system. It's been there for a while, I think. That's why I'm level 150. It's just really frustrating that the box is still here. I remember that being an issue a few months ago, and not months, so years ago. It's still here, and I, I don't get it. Like, surely you can detect these, and also, you need to put kicked players into the lobbies with other kicked players. Just as, like, penalty. Well, that could be a dangerous thing because of bots manipulating that. I think the idea is that you need people on unique IPs to to be put together. So you avoid these botting problems from a similar IP or the same one. Because I think it will kill the game eventually. When there's too many people will begin to quit, and even though there's community servers, you can't really get progression on community servers as far as I know. If you can, let me know, because that would be good to know. Good to do even. Because I can wear my Halloween stuff. <laughs> That's the good thing about community servers, though. You do wacky shit. Fun fact, I used to be an admin for a server. I used to edit maps pretty much. Did it in Hammer. It was a pain in the ass because when you converted them, it replaced all the textures. Well, not replaced, but basically adjusted them. But I got admin privileges to test it and had some fun with players there. Had a command to slap everyone. It was pretty funny to them. It was certainly interesting. But I trust community servers, but I don't want to lose progression, and that's kind of the complication there. Anyway, I think I'll continue my journey. It could be interesting, I don't know. Certainly had fun, I had quite a few moments.